Pavla Broadhead at Hearthside Medicine here in Bend. I am a family nurse practitioner and I practice integrative medicine, so I incorporate both natural modalities as well as conventional um, modalities. So today I'm going to be just wrapping up my talk on endometriosis with some of the more naturally minded um, things you can do to help with this disease. And for those of you who are not really familiar with endometriosis, symptoms can be really painful periods, pain with sex, chronic pelvic pain or abdominal pain, um, infertility, just to name a few. So there's a lot that I could talk about and I'm just going to hit home on just a few. Um, the biggest one is having a low inflammatory um, state of being. So diet is the best way to achieve that. And a lot of um, foods that are high inflammatory foods are um, red meat, gluten, dairy, and corn, if I'm forgetting any of them, um, and oh, sugar. Um, also avoiding processed foods and preservatives such as sodium nitrate is really important. That can be found in a lot of deli meats. Um, and just as a quick disclaimer, um, none of this advice should be taken as medical advice. Always consult with your own primary care provider before starting any herbs or supplements or treatments. Um, so, uh, in addition to reducing that overall inflammation, um, cutting out any kind of smoking, excess caffeine or alcohol is really important for reducing overall inflammation as well. And, and incorporating organic, brightly colored fruits and vegetables, which are high in antioxidants, will help reduce that inflammation. Um, and keeping blood sugar levels nice and steady. So, you could do that through um, weight loss, exercise, cinnamon and berberine in the diet to name a few things. Um, so endometriosis really also um, thrives with estrogen. And a lot of the things in our diet that we come in contact with or things in our environment that we come in contact with increase estrogen or are considered estric estrogen mimic mimickers or disruptors. And these might include um, chemicals that are found in a lot of sunscreens, chemicals that are found in a lot of fragrances such as air fresheners, um, dish detergents, laundry detergent, etc. Um, plastics. Plastics is probably the number one um, material that we're in, in constant contact with because it's ubiquitous and there's a lot of good data now showing that it really does interfere with estrogen in the body. Um, so avoiding plastic, especially food stored in plastic, plastic water bottles, cooking in plastic is key. Uh, I already touched on weight loss, but the reason weight loss is so important is that weight Excess weight in general tends to create a pro-inflammatory state, um, but it also encourages excess estrogen. And again, endometriosis thrives with that estrogen. Um, one way you could achieve weight loss aside from exercise and diet changes is intermittent fasting, and I've found this to be really helpful with my patients with um, endometriosis and a lot of other chronic diseases, and I'm happy to help with that if you have any questions on how to do intermittent fasting safely. Um, so some herbs that you can try, um, there's numerous ones, but I just want to preface by saying always, always, always check with your own provider before you start any herbs or someone knowledgeable um, because a lot of herbs can interfere with medications or other medical conditions. For example, some may interfere with coagulation, liver function, they may not be safe in breastfeeding, etc. So treat herbs similar to a prescription. Um, some herbs that are natural and anti-inflammatories include curcumin, bromelain, quercetin, ginger, uh, and then other things you could add are fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids that you can get from flaxseed and chia seed. Um, antioxidants, which can be found in your fruits and vegetables, can also be taken in a supplement form. So that would be vitamins A, E, and C. Other antioxidants um, is a substance from red grapes, resvert. I can never pronounce it, resveratrol um, or pycnogenol from pine bark. Um, green tea has also been found to be helpful. Uh, so if you do have a lot of pain, there are some things you can do naturally to help treat the pain associated with endometriosis. Um, ginger root, as we already talked about, uh, Jamaican dog, dogwood, cramp bark, devil's claw. Um, some small studies show that melatonin taken every night has been helpful. Chamomile, calcium, magnesium can help with some of that cramping and staying really really well hydrated is very key. Other pearls would be acupuncture, massage to break up any of the adhesions or the scar tissue that endometriosis can cause. Again that exercise and then stress and anxiety management. And as one last thought, a lot of my patients um, I will end up 
doing a combination. So integrative medicine where I'll prescribe maybe a more traditional medication, but incorporate a lot of these modalities that I just shared. Um, a lot of my patients really benefit um, from being on an IUD, like a Mirena IUD. So thanks everyone for, for listening and tuning in. If you have any questions, shoot me um, a message on our website, hearthsidemedicine.com, or schedule an appointment to come see me. We are accepting new patients, and we would love to hear from you. So hearthsidemedicine.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.